So we've got quite a lot of children um, that come to church that, that um, struggle with some kind of additional need. Um, and so it's been amazing to be on a bit of a journey with them of how we can support them because we want church to be an inclusive place where they feel loved and welcomed and they can engage just as much as anyone else. So, um, yeah, we're really lucky that we've got lots of links with um, special needs charities that actually work out of our kind of church building. Um, so there's lots of need in the area and we just wanted to make our programmes as, as accessible as possible. Um, so... It's, we've really started small. We didn't, we didn't come up with like a big um, scheme or anything. Uh, we kind of started with the families that we already had and how can we support those. So, for example, we had one girl who um, was severely, is severely autistic and needed support in order to be able to stay. And so we managed to find a, vol a volunteer who wanted to join the kids team but um, didn't necessarily enjoy being in the big group setting too much. Um, who was really up for volunteering to work one-to-one -one with her. And so she didn't have any experience, but was really keen to learn. And it's been amazing to see how she's built a relationship with their family. Um, and then that's grown. We've got a couple of volunteers now that do that. Um, they get to know the family. They get in touch with them. They see whether or not they're coming on a Sunday. And if they're coming, they'll make sure that they're there to kind of meet them and greet them. And they'll check their kids in for them if they're running late. Uh, so it's small things like that which I think have made them feel welcome and just being able to invite her into kids' church. So, yeah, we we currently, we run very much on inclusion, so we're trying to have a system in place where people get to stay and be part of our bigger groups, um, but with the support they need. And, yeah, it's been amazing to just kind of work one-on-one -on -one with families um, about how we can, like, support them and encourage them. And, for them to feel like church is a haven where they can come and be and everyone is accepted and their kids are loved and yeah that's been really good um we we also started a special needs kind of stream at our holiday club a few years ago um i was lucky enough to come in and my the person that was doing my job before me was still around so i was able to um just focus that year on how we were providing for additional needs and so it's funny how once you start providing something, it grows massively. And as soon as uh, one, fam you know, a couple of families felt like they were supported at our holiday club, suddenly they were telling their friends, and you know, loads of people were signing up. And so again, we've just created a space where they can go, um, providing buddies to go into their groups with them and make sure that they're um, accessing programs and being able to make holiday club a place that they can come and be. Um, has been really amazing.